In this gospel we've just heard, Jesus confronts those who are having a hard time accepting him, who have a hard time believing his words, as indeed we do even to this day. Because Jesus compels us to make a choice about who he is. He does not claim to be just a wise philosopher. He does not claim to be just a good man who has some nice things to say. He claims to be the Son of God. And so we are left with a choice. Will we believe him and allow this decision to affect our entire lives, to follow him? Because if he really is the Son of God, then he has the words of everlasting life. And he alone is the one who can satisfy us. Or on the other hand, we are left with the choice to reject him. But sometimes it is not always easy to follow Jesus. Because sometimes his words challenge us. Sometimes his words push us. Sometimes his words make us let go of something we hold dear or challenge us outside of our comfort zones. And so like his listeners in this gospel, we may be tempted to reject the words of Jesus. But he himself reminds us, I say this to you so that you may be saved. The words of Christ are always directed towards our salvation. Not towards our condemnation, but our salvation. And only the words of Christ can save us. But sometimes we allow ourselves to be distracted. Sometimes we hold in our hearts other gods, as indeed the Israelites do in the first reading from Exodus. We may not make a golden idol the way that they do, but there are many things that we can hold in our hearts as taking the place of God. Whether those things be pleasure, money, power, the good attention, the good reputation of others, wanting people to sing our praises, whatever the case may be, there are many temptations that the world throws at us. And there are many things in our life that we can hold in place of God, as the Israelites do in the first reading. But just as Moses intercedes for the Israelites, and God has mercy on them, Christ is the one who intercedes for us. Christ is the one who saves us to bring us back to his Father. And just as the Israelites are wandering in the desert, so we too can wander from this life feeling like them sometimes that it is hard to keep following God, to trust that he knows what is best for us and to keep following him. And sometimes we too can be tempted to set up our own gods in place of him. And so in a special way during these remaining days of Lent and leading into Holy Week, let us remind ourselves that Christ's words are only the words that can save us. Nothing else can. No other false gods that we set up in our hearts, no other thing that we give our hearts or our attention or our time to can save us, but only the words of Christ. So let us ask our Heavenly Father to help us in turning back to him, to let go of any false gods that we may set up in his place, and to give us the strength to follow him all the way to everlasting life, for he alone is the one who can truly save us.